Mo Gun Sports, where you spend a little and win a lot. Bet, win, and pick up. And that's where the big bucks start rolling in. What's going on, everybody? It is Sunday, February 13, 2022. Got Super Bowl 56 on deck. If y'all ready for the game, man, leave y'all money back. Play of the day down below in the comment section. And hey, man, I'm running the contest for today's video. If y'all can predict the correct score in the game, 50 bucks in your pocket. So hey, man, everybody can join. Everybody can play. Make sure to leave your predicted score. If you get the correct score for the game, man, 50 bucks straight to your pocket. It's no matter how many people can win it, man. You, if you if you get the correct score, you win 50 bucks. So leave your prediction in the comment section. Also, man, leave me your money back prop of the day. What's your best prop? Make sure to drop that down below in the comment section, man. It's your boy, I bought a one-man show. I got about six props, man. I'm going to get out for the video. A nice plus one prop, too, man. So got a side. It's going to be in the first half. And I'm going to give you my leans and prediction on the full game in the total. So, yeah, man, yesterday, no video. As always, man, I tell you guys, you want to get those pics on Saturday, man. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description area. And on Friday, man, the record was 0-2 with a push. We dropped $84. So, if y'all new to the channel, we started back in December with a $200 bankroll. We're going to track it for the full year. And so, with the wins and losses on Friday, bring the full year record to 92 with 82. Still up 10 units. The bankroll has increased from 200 up to four hundred and ninety six dollars. So yeah man, make sure to hit that sub button, track this bankroll with us, make sure to hit that notification bell and drop that like man to support the channel. Also man share the videos and drop your boy a comment, leave that money bag prop of the day. Also man if you can predict the final score of the game, fifty bucks in your pocket, anybody can play, anybody can win. Also man if y'all wanna leave a donation to support the channel, you can drop those donations on my cash app at dollar sign bc nation i put the information today on top of the comments all right man got a big big play for the day man money plus money prop awesome man, i'm gonna let y'all know who i like to win this game so with no further ado man it's gonna jump into these super bowl 56 props and plays all right man my straight bet in this game i'm taking the rams in the first half of the game minus three at minus 107 uh, the Rams have been pretty strong in the first half of the playoffs games. They won and covered the spread in two out of three. The only game they did not uh, win and cover the spread in the first half was last game against the 49ers. But they pretty much demolished the Cardinals in the first half of that game. And in that Tampa Bay game, they was up over the Buccaneers. So i like for the Rams to do the same thing today. As we already know, man, everybody been talking about this, how – the O-line for the Cincinnati Bengals has not been able to protect Joe Barrow. So I think it's going to be a tough day today against this D-line for the Rams. <clears throat> One thing I like to look at when I'm uh, capping football games is who can win in the trenches. And with no doubt, man, we know that the defense for the Rams, it just heads over heels more better than the Cincinnati Bengals. So also, man, with this being Joe Barrow, First big game, man, in the Super Bowl, his second year in the NFL. I think he's going to be nervous. And I like for the Rams to be up by more than three points at halftime to get us this cash, man. So my first play in the Super Bowl, Rams minus three, first half. All right, man, uh, the next play I like is some props. And uh, here are my rushing props for the game. I took Joe Barrow under 12 and a half rushing yards. I think he will do some scrambling, but I think it'll be mostly horizontal, not vertically, you know, just to try to buy some time. So uh, I'm going to like this prop for him to stay under 12 and a half rushing yards. I mean, my second rushing prop is uh, Samaj P. Ryan under 15 and a half rushing and receiving. I think last week, man, was the only time he went over this total. And, but, um, all the rest of his game, I think he only averaging like two yards per game, like seven yards, uh, receiving. So that's way under this 15 and a half. So my second rushing prop is Samaj P. Ryan for the Bengals under 15 and a half rushing and receiving yards. Also, my next rushing prop is, uh, Joe Mixon under 68 and a half total rushing yards. The, the Rams only allowed this for four times this season. I think Elijah Mitchell did it twice. 
I think Devontae Freeman did it and a quarterback did it, Kyler Murray. So I like for the D line to really stack the box. And I like for Joe Mixon to stay under his rushing total yards of 68 and a half. I am in my next rushing prop is Jamal Chase to have more rushing yards than Cooper Cup. I think Cooper Cup only ran the ball twice this season. And uh, Zach Taylor going to be trying to put the ball in Jamal Chase in, in his hands any way he can. So I like him to have more rushing yards than Cooper Cup. I am in my final rushing prop. It's going to be uh, for Joe Mixon to have more rushing yards than Cam Akers. As we already know, man, uh, Darryl Henderson is going to be in this game. So that's going to be three running backs for the Rams. So I think that um, this is going to be a great win for Joe Mixon. He's like the feature running back for the Bengals. So I like for Joe Mixon to have more rushing yards than Cam Akers. All right, man, um, my passing yard, my passing props, I like for Cooper Cup. Longest receiving yard over 28 and a half. We know that Stafford going to go deep the cup at least one time in this game. And we know he's a great uh, catcher after the run with them yak yards. So I like for Cooper Cup. Longest receiving yard over 28 and a half. I'll take it up 30. All right, man. My next uh, receiving prop is for Cooper Cup to have the most receiving yards out of all receivers in this game. This at plus 120. We already got it receiving yards over, um, you know, the bookmates got it receiving yard total over 103. That's the most out of everybody on the board. So with that, I think that he, just to get a plus money, I think he'll have the most receiving yards out of all receivers in the game at plus 120. That's just a better odds right there. Also, my next receiving prop, I like for Joe Mixon over 25 and a half receiving yards. And like I said, man, uh, it's not going to be too many rushing yards over the Rams. So I think they're going to have to get Joe mixing out into some, you know, some screens, some, uh, some dumps. So I like for him to have over 25 receiving yards. He cast in his total in all in his last five games. I think he averaged 43 receiving yards in those five games. So I like for Joe mixing over 25 and a half receiving yards. All right, man, as far as my, uh, partner props. I like Kevin Herber uh, for the Bengals. I like for his longest punt to be over 52 and a half. And uh, I think that's it for my props, man. And here's the best prop that I like out of the whole, out of everything. I do think that the Rams going to win this game. And the reason why I like for the Rams to win this game is if you look at the road to the Super Bowl. Now, we got the Bengals. Yeah, they beat the Raiders. But we know the Raiders have been dealing with a lot of uh, people being out. One of their top receivers out, Henry Ruggs got put out the game. You know what happened to him. Uh, they caught, their coach was fired in the middle of the season. So we know the Raiders were dealing with a lot of different outside stuff. So they did get the win over them. So not, not, not too, uh, convincing, uh, you know what I'm saying, of a, a win right there. Cause the Raiders could have came back and tied up. But uh, the next game they played with the Titans, we know that Derrick Henry was not a full in full strength, so they just stacked the box on him, and we know Ryan Tannehill gets at them some interceptions, so that was not a uh, you know not a hard win there either. I do give them props for beating the Chiefs. That's the only win that I really give them props for. Now, when you look at the Rams, the Rams had to play two division teams. You know that's hard within itself. They had to play the Cardinals. Beat them convincingly. Then they had to go to Tampa Bay and play the uh, Super Bowl champs from last year. Pretty much put a thumping on them. And that game was closer than really what it was. If it weren't for four turnovers, I think the Rams would have beat the Buccaneers by double digits. And then last week, they had, they had, they came back from behind to beat the 49ers, who's a way tougher team than any of the teams I think that the Cincinnati Bengals have played. So, you know, I think that the Rams just more battle tested. They got a lot more veterans on their team. You know what I'm saying? They got um Bob Miller, who was an MVP uh, winner in the Super Bowl between Denver and the Carolina Panthers. So, you know what I'm saying? They got that future Hall of Fame with Aaron Donald, man. They got Jalen Ram- I mean, uh, Ramsey. So I just think that um the Rams just battle tested more than the Bengals. Bengals just a young team. 
I think, you know, they'll be back. You know, mix, you know, Joe Barrow was young. So I think he'll be, you know, back in the Super Bowl sooner or later. But I think today, man, the Rams <clears throat> are just a two, you know, better defense. <clears throat> Got a veteran quarterback. I like for the Rams to win this game. But instead of landing the four points, I'm going to take the Rams to win this game between one and 13 and a half points at plus 140. So long as they win the game and, and don't win by more than 13 and a half, I mean, we'll cash the ticket. At plus 140. All right, man, my additional play for the day in NBA. I like Boston Celtics minus six over Atlanta. And I took the over 130 and a half between Colorado State and Boise State. But, yeah, man, those are my plays for Super Bowl 56. Like I said, man, leave me your money bag prop of the day in the com- and down below in the comment section. Also, man, if y'all can predict the correct score of the game, 50 bucks in your pocket. I don't care how many people can do it, man. Whoever can predict the score will get that $50. But, yeah, man, that's going to do it for me. Just remember, man, this is only one game. Don't bet more than you can afford to lose, man. Be smart. Always bet with your mind, not with your heart. Man, it's that bankroll. Let's turn these tickets into cash, man. Let's have a great day. Once again, I want to say thanks for joining. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I want to shout out to all my people, man. My boy Rivera, my boy Jimmy Flowers, boy Johnny Football. What's happening with you, Johnny Hun huh? Wins? What's up with you, Ron Hun? What's up with the Trap House? What's up, PP Square Productions? What's going on, Gloria K? What's happening with it, Alfredo Hernandez? What's up with it, Junior Jam? What's up with it, Dewey Doc Simmons? What's going on, Joy Gallup? What's happening with your Sports Dave? And anybody that's dropping them comments, man, want to say what's happening, man. What's going on, Glory K? Hey, man, let's have a great Super Bowl Sunday. Let's win a lot of cash. And always, man, winners don't quit. We just keep grinding. This is a bad way to pick up. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.